What's going on, ladies and gents, boys and girls of Air Gun World? This is your boy Will here again. And look what I just got dropped off by Mr. FedEx. Ooh, it's a box. I guess we're doing an unboxing today. Only because I feel that this gun here does deserve an unboxing. Uh, I love these guys here. Such a big fan that I had to get me another one. But before I go on with that, I'm going to just uh, say thank you to uh, Mr. Charlie. All right, here we go. Well, we're going to open up this beautiful box. Yeah. I'm so excited guys because this guy here oof, is a winner. We're going to see how this thing is packaged. Oh yeah. A box. In a box. We got some fluffy stuff that flies everywhere. Confetti. Woohoo! We got this nice little bubble wrap. We'll throw that there. And we'll take it out the box. And we'll see what we got here. Does anybody know what this is? Oh yeah. Caliber Gun Cricket. And that's the box all full of foam. With more bubble wrap pieces. Now that's the way I like my packages delivered to me. Safe and sound. All right guys, so we have here the Caliber Gun Cricket Brrr, 2. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, we're unboxing the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 and I am pumped. Yeah, all right, here we go. Let's unbox this guy and see what we got going here. Caliber Gun Cricket 2. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see, guys. I'll let you guys take a look at it first. Oh. It's more foam. I like the way this gun is packaged. Charlie did an amazing job. Woo-wee! Look at this. Got a Georgia Air Guns right here. Georgia Air Guns. T-shirt. This is the front. That was the back you just saw. It's got the logo on the side of the shirt. Oh yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate that, buddy. Georgia T-shirt. Georgia Air Guns T-shirt. All right, what do we got next here? We got some paperwork on the invoice. All right, don't need to worry about that. That's my invoice. Here, what do we got? Oh, look at this. I'm gonna tell you a little something about this, guys. Uh, Charlie, he, he goes over these guns very thoroughly. And when I say thoroughly, I mean he gives you a tune. Uh, these guns here from the factory, probably shooting somewhere in the neighborhood in 22 cal. Don't know the other calibers. Don't know nothing about the 25 or the 30 or the 177. This is a 22. And uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of like 900 feet per second from the factory. And, and, uh, and, uh, uh, Charlie here, he tunes these guys up. Not only tunes them up for power mod, you know, you're getting about $180 worth of tuning for the price of the gun. So, I don't know any other company that does that. Normally, if you want something like that, you have to pay for it. You want an extra tune to your gun, you're going to have to pay for that. But Charlie over at uh, Georgia Air Guns, he actually does it standard. So, it takes a, another couple of days. So, you pay for the gun. 
and you got to wait a couple of extra days so you can go over the gun, do all the testing, find out what what pellets are shooting, and these guys here are running, these are 18 grains, you know, average about like maybe 900 feet per second, 880, somewhere around there, a 22 caliber, and here he got some running up now to 927, 18 grains. Uh, 932, 927, 927, very consistent. Uh, for, that's the JSB heavies, 18.1 18 grain. And then the FX, 18.1, so the same thing. 925, 925, 927, 929, 932. Uh, for, and those are, now these are the light ones. Here, the 15.9s are running at 974, 964, 968, 960. I'll take a picture of this, and you guys can look at all these numbers. But, uh, you know, I, I called up, uh, I called them up. I called up Charlie, and I just asked some questions. You know, what kind of tune are you doing to my gun, you know, that... You know, it'll take an extra three or four days. And he says, well, I go over the whole gun. Uh, he wouldn't really specify what he does for his tunes. He says, you'll only be able to know the, the tunes that I do to the barrel. To fine tune the barrel. Now, this is a CZ barrel. But uh, I looked at it myself. And he wasn't lying when he said he tunes the barrel. looked at the barrel and that crown looks like a mirror the crown itself looks like a mirror the internal of the barrel itself has been polished a light polish uh, he does the breech end and the port end of the crown but this is it right here guys Look at this beautiful little compact gun. Now, a surprise, guys. It doesn't come with the scope. I actually opened up the box and put the scope on there. I couldn't wait. But uh, it was a fun unboxing for you guys, but not for me. I already knew. <laughs> but, yeah, look at this beautiful scope I got on there. UTG Leapers. For someone out there who's looking at this video right now and saying, I can't believe you did that. Yes, sir. I did. Beautiful scope to go with a beautiful gun. This is the only scope that I found on the market that I can rely on as far as being true to its turrets, good glass, and it has illumination. And it's compact. And I thought it, it really complemented this gun. Uh, so this is a... 4 to 16 by 44 perfect size because it fits under my rail if I would have got a 50 it would have probably not been the right scope got the bubble level there make sure that it's reading true the wood on this gun it's amazing so smooth very nice cheek piece wood Oh yeah, so compacted. It feels like I'm holding nothing. Feels like I'm holding nothing over here. The balance. Yeah, it's a little back heavy, but that's what makes it so light. Right at the grip is where the balance point is at. Right at the grip. Just right in front of the grip. Look, I got my hand straight out. Super light gun. So, yeah, I'm digging it. This is phenomenal. It's got a spare magazine holder at the bottom. So if I'm taking this magazine out of there, racking it back, take this magazine out of there. Okay, I think this is a 14 round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, 14 round magazine and 22. Go 
comes right in there. Comes right out of there so easily. It sticks in there. You can hear it click. Hear that click? Locked in there. Won't ever come out unless you pull on it. Cock and lever. I remember having my old cricket. And I'll be back here. And it just, it wasn't for me. Love the cricket, but I just, the only feature I hated about the cricket was being back here. Now, it's got a spring tensioning too. So once it comes forward, it locks in, look, pushes right out on its own. Smooth cock and lever. Uh, I don't know. I, I really dig it. My favorite part about these guns, I don't know. I'm, I'm still old school. I love these old-fashioned magazines. You know, I call them old-fashioned because they don't, now everybody's going to the cartridge, self-indexing kind of magazine. And these right here, oh, I love these magazines so much. Uh, especially, especially caliber gun cricket. They've always made high capacity magazine. So there were 12 for my 25 and 14 for the uh, 22. So to me, that's plenty of shots. 14 shots is more than enough for me. You get two magazines. So let's take a look at what else comes with this package. From Charlie. All right. So we got a little bag here, okay? And so much foam, guys. I mean, they got this, this thing is full of foam. All right, so now that I got this out of here, let me move this box out of here. And let me put this gun up here for you guys to look at while I'm looking through this bag. Oh yeah, look at that, that looks so good. Oh, look at that, how it fits on that bag because of that cut. That cut out right there, that half moon, sits on a bag so nice. Look at that, that is beautiful. All right, so we're gonna take a look at what's in this little black bag. Oh, look at this. Brand new tin of FX pellets. Very nice. I like it. Wow. Wow. Now, this is really nice. I, you know, I spoke to Charlie and, you know, I told him that I do have a channel and, uh, and, um, he said that he will send me a t-shirt, you know, for, I can have for the channel. Not to promote him, he just, you know, he says, I'll send you a t-shirt if you want to wear it, wear it, if you don't, you don't. Real nice guy, he wasn't asking for, any, for anything out of me at all. But the guy is really, really nice, just I guess because I know this gun only comes with two magazines, and I have a total of four magazines, guys. So that was very, very nice of uh, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much for sending me two extra magazines. Uh... Also, when you do buy this gun, or if you bought it from somewhere else, it doesn't come with the little uh, male foster. So you'll have to buy a foster and thread it on to the uh, caliber uh, uh, fill probe. And I had to do that with my original caliber gun cricket. It looks like the same fill probe as the one that's for my other cricket. Uh, but he says, out of his factory, I mean, out of his store, out of his store, um, he will always provide one of these uh, male foster fittings with all his guns that he sells to the public. So no matter if it's you, me, anyone, he's always going to have one of these. Now, the extra two magazines, I don't know. Uh, you know, you may have to purchase those, but I know it only really comes with two. And I'm getting an extra two, so thank you, Charlie, again. Uh... Guys, I, I can't complain. Uh, the, the tune, I mean, he tuned the whole barrel. He went over the whole gun. 
He did the adjustments for the regulator. Uh, he did the adjustments for the uh, spring, the hammer spring. Uh, got it up just a little bit more, still efficient. Uh, I'm going to have to look at what numbers I get as far as how many shots I'm getting. But I'll do that all on my next video, guys. Okay? This is just an unboxing. I'll, I'll take a look at what I got here. Um, now, these come standard with the uh, metal adjuster. I know on my old crickets, I had the plastic uh, hammer spring adjuster, and they suck because you they were plastic. As soon as you screw them in, they'll break, so you have to get a, a metal one. This one does come with a metal one. Uh, also, uh, Charlie modifies these, so you can use a little tool to get there and turn it a lot easier than just try to put your hand or fingers around this because it's kind of hard because you got half of the butt stock sticking out. So he has these, uh, this little modification he did on it where he screws a couple of little holes in there. You can stick a little Allen key in there and turn it for your little mi minute uh, adjustments on there uh, for your velocities if you're looking for that. Uh, I can't complain, guys. I can't complain. Phil Probe, that's a big plus for a lot of customers. Customer service, I'm all about customer service. Uh, the gun comes with two magazines factory so you guys always have two magazines i got two more so like i said thank you charlie again uh the gun is sweet the safety is right here this is your safety uh you could use it you could do it on either side so you could do it on the right or left side once the gun is loaded you can put the safety on and your okay so Let's see. Okay. There you go. Safety on. Okay. Now, the only thing about this one is that there is a red marker there, but it's still under the wood. So maybe it just had to be uh, put up one more. Maybe I'll do that some other time. But there was usually a little red marker there. So you know when you're red, uh, you're hot. When you're red, you're dead and black you're not so turn it off okay taking it off there can i do it while i'm locked let's see okay there we go can't use it even before i cocked it i can i can activate it okay unactivate it okay uh okay so what can I say that's bad about this gun? As far as right now, nothing. Nothing that I can think of is, uh, it looks good. Aesthetically, looks really good. This right here, this is, this is the way of going. If this caliber gun cricket came out like this when it first came out, forget about it. They would have sold millions of units. But now, where is that in the right location? So compacted. I don't know what the weight is. But it feels so light with a scope on it. I mean, so light. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. I, I'm I'm loving it. Uh, I'm really digging it. Uh, the only thing I can really say aesthetically that I wish they would have done. The only thing that I'm gonna say complain. I'm gonna say. They need to catch up with the times and put that half UNF thread in the front. Guys love to have their moderators on. I, I know for sure Donnie FL sells the adapter for these. Uh, I have it for my other Cricut. And uh, it's not something really hard to do. You just put a little heat on it. It's kind of held on by glue. It's not screwed on. This cap is not screwed on in the front. A little bit of heat on it comes right out. You replace it with Donnie's uh, UNF thread and it comes with a with a little thread protector, slap it on and um, you'll be good to go uh, for an additional moderator. But besides that, besides the half UNF thread, I can't say nothing else about this gun. This gun looks freaking awesome. The wood is amazing. Uh, I wish they would have put check ring in the front. I, I wish they would have had the check ring right there in the front a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have anything for the Picatinny rail. Of course, you know, this is a bullpup, so they really designed this for you to have it in your hand. Uh, not 
to sit on a bipod. So for the guys who have to have a bipod, you can put one on. I definitely see you have plenty of flat surface to put one on uh, if you needed one. Uh, this gun here, I'm not going to put a bipod on it. I don't want it. I didn't buy it for that purpose. I just wanted something compact for the woods. And it is freaking awesome just the way it is. Uh, the checkering on the grip is nice. Uh, the checkering on the grip is nice. I wish they would have had it in the front. And I wish they would have had a half UNF thread. Uh, that's all I can really complain about as of now. Here's the, uh, here's the manual that you're getting for the Caliber Gun Cricket. Great manual. Seems like all the, uh, details of do's and don'ts are all included in here. Your pressure. I believe this, it might be a little outdated. This looks like it's the original Cricut, where it lobs up from the back, but the principle is still the same. Uh, but I guess if you're trying to go off this manual, it'll be a little different. Yeah, I agree. I think they should have updated the manual. So the manual is still on the older version. This is not a Caliber Gun Cricut 2. This is the original Caliber Gun Cricut manual. But it comes with a bunch of goodies. Look at all the O-rings. Uh, this is a complete kit of O-rings for the gun itself. You see your, these big ones here are going to be your, uh, your uh, air tube uh, O-rings. And then you have your breech. Uh, one for your port. Uh, and the other ones here, maybe uh, for the regulator. So you have a whole kit right there of bow rings. Here, you're going to have your springs, different types of springs for your hammer. So if you want a stiffer spring for your hammer, and you want a little more power out of it, you're not getting enough power out of the uh, factory spring that, it, that you have, these also are provided to have different velocities or just tune it up where you want a, a certain number uh, without tampering with your regulator too much. So here's what you get there. Uh, this is something that Charlie provides for you. Charlie gives everyone with their kits a cleaning, a bore cleaner for your barrel. And that's really cool. I don't know what other company goes out their way and gives you a $180 tune for free and still provides you with a cleaner. This is definitely something that Charlie does with all his customers. So I think you're getting a really great deal with all this stuff. But uh, yeah, that concludes everything that's in that package, including the JSBs that he threw in there for me. I appreciate that. I don't know if that will come with everybody else's purchase, but, you know, like I said, thank you, Charlie, again, buddy. But this will, and, of course, your O-rings will, and so will your, your springs for tuning on the hammer and your bore cleaner for your uh, barrel and, of course, your manual. You're looking here at the Caliber Gun Cricket uh, 2. And this is going to be the new kid on the block. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And one more thing I forgot to mention, guys. The side lever can be switched out to either side. So I can take it from the right side and put it on the left side for all my left-handed shooters. But you can have it here. Or maybe you want to keep it on the right side of your lefty. And for the guys who are righties who want to have a fast shooter, yeah, you could put it right on the other side and Oh. So. Yeah, you know, the Wildcat and the, uh, the Impact had a baby this year. And it looks like the Vulcan and the Caliber Gun Cricket had a baby this year. <laughs> baby season time. Woo.
quick hands, quick hands. It's windy out here. All right, but anyway, guys, I'm real happy about this guy. We're gonna do some serious testing. We're gonna get velocities. Uh, next video I wanna do on this guy is velocity, sound check, uh, trigger pull test, and this is all out the box. I'm not doing any modifications to after I'm done with the factory overview of this gun. Then after that, I'll do whatever I feel that needs to be done. As of out the box, I felt like I didn't have to do nothing. The trigger's awesome. Uh, uh, the cock and lever feels great. Uh, I just, there's nothing else I can say about the gun. I just want to see how accurate it is. So, next time, I'll see you guys. As always, God bless America, and I'll see you guys on the next round.